So Donald Trump gave another one of his speeches last night, and in many ways, it was standard Trump insanity. But I have to say, without exaggeration, that Donald Trump's dementia and cognitive decline was on display even more than usual last night. We know that this guy, especially in the last few years and in the last few months, has shown a rapid decline in his ability to communicate, in his ability to think, even in his ability to read. But my goodness, Goodness, last night, guys, it was even worse than usual. And it's especially galling. It's especially jarring as he simultaneously brags about his own health and insults the health of the current president. Just listen to this for a little bit, and then we'll come back and break it down. Two years ago, we had the greatest in our nation. We had something that was so incredible. We had the greatest people in our nation fighting like they've never fought before. They had spirit. They had hope. But we will soon have that greatness again. The children of elderly people in the nursing homes were so angry. My father did not vote. He's comatose. He's been sick. He's ready to die. He'll be dead very soon. He didn't vote. To bring down energy prices, we have to abolish the Green New Deal. It's a fake. It's a fake. In American history, that's why we had the job numbers. And don't forget, you have not good job numbers right now. They're not counting all of the millions of people that aren't working. If you looked at the real numbers, that 3.5 would be double that. Maybe some people say triple that. The radical Democrats, they have it now at $5, $6, $7. A friend of mine from California called me this morning. He just paid $8.55, he told me, California. And you'll follow. You'll Ronnie Jackson, my doctor. <laughs> Dr. Ronnie. Where's Ronnie? Where's Ronnie? Oh. He was the White House doctor. He was a great doctor, you know. He was an admiral, a doctor, and now he's a congressman. I said, which is the best, if you had your choice? And he sort of indicated doctor because he loved looking at my body. It was so strong and powerful. <laughs> but he said, I'm the healthiest president that's ever lived. I was the healthiest. I, I said, I like this guy. I don't know who the hell he is at the time, I said, but I like Guys, that man is not well. He's making up some stuff there for political purposes, but he's also just clearly spouting lies, I think, from the basis of dementia. There is no Green New Deal. There is no Green New Deal in any sort of legislation. There isn't even Build Back Better. The current bill does some decent things, but it's a heavily scaled back version of an already scaled back version. And then he's talking about gas prices, even though they've fallen for like 50 plus straight days. But you look at that. He's trailing off. He's making up random stories about people in homes not being able to vote. All of this, guys, it's absolutely painful. It really is. This is yet another one of those moments. And I've talked a little bit about this with Trump Jr., where it's like clearly they get up on a stage, they get on camera, and they sound unwell in very different ways. But Donald Trump clearly sounds unwell here. Like there's that moment where he said, we're the greatest and he, put, he, tr he strolls off there and he doesn't even get back onto the point. And guys, that shows not only that his brain is melting, but that he can't even read anymore. Like Donald Trump is not giving this speech off the top of his head. He is not, you know, giving a general speech with cue cards as he goes over the points and he lost his point. Donald Trump has everything he needs to say scrolling on a screen in front of him. He's basically a glorified robot standing up there to read a speech that his staff wrote for him and he can't even do that because his brain function is just that bad. And again, he tries to cover it by yet again, as he does almost every time, having his former doc get up on the floor and testify to the fact that Donald Trump is super healthy and super handsome, the most healthy president ever. But we know that's not true in both a physical and a mental sense. And again, the purpose here isn't to mock Trump. It really isn't. Although I don't mind if you do. The purpose is to show this man's absolute weakness, the fact that you're combining mental breakdowns with an evil mind and also just the hypocrisy. Like four days ago, guys, he was saying Joe Biden had dementia. And then you go up on stage and you do that, right? 
Donald Trump is a mess of a man and everyone who puts him up there simply because they want to leech off the money and the power and the fame and all of that, honestly, they should be ashamed. People need to go to this man and say, sir, you are not well. Some journalists really nailed it. Aaron Rupar, who does a really good job covering these sorts of events, he said, Trump is sleepwalking through this thing. He simply does not have the same juice he did seven years ago. And I think that's true in multiple ways. He is a mentally broken man and my goodness, he's still dangerous for the country maybe even more so.